Previously in Obsification and Edification, I showed how we unlocked the secret level Purple Haze. I'm just going to put it up on the screen here really quickly as a reminder. You get to Nergazul's grave with the Zeridium Brine nearby. Past there, you can knock out the wall to get to a secret area. And then past there, you can use Fire Seeds to knock out a little more wall. And you go through those steps or kind of a crevice, and it takes you to a, an opening where you can jump down and unlock Secret Haze. You can go to this level any time after that. You need to unlock that to get 100% in Obstruction Edification. So I showed it there, but I actually don't go to it until after Manatrachi Warrior or Manatrachi Wizard. But since it doesn't have a save or anything, it's a completely standalone bonus level. I'm just choosing to show it here as a bonus with kind of a refresher of how you get here. But with that said, let's go ahead and hop into this level and see what it looks like. This is just kind of a fun level they added at the last minute, I think. Um, it uses a tile set that we'll see later for the Manitraki. The plaque reads, Welcome to the secret level. All who pass through here are sworn to secrecy. Reading of this notice constitutes agreement to this legally binding contract. We also get your children at home. The plaque goes on to say, Please forgive any anachronisms contained in this level, as it was put together by Ben scant days before release while he was on a diet of pure caffeine. So obviously we're violating that agreement by showing this, but um, if Ambrosia comes out of retirement to go after me for a 20-year-old game, I guess that would be a, a net benefit, because they would at least be out of retirement. But this is just like, I don't know, Super Mario Brothers bonus level, right? It's just filled with goodies and really nothing in here to hurt you. That's the exit right there. You can just leave anytime you want to. But um, I want to get as many goodies and show you all the stuff in here. Let's go ahead and go up to this first thing. Ah yes, res necklaces are always welcome to me. They're kind of useful towards the end. I try to avoid using them if, if possible. Okay, there we go. The plaque reads, Adobe of Eric the Composer, or Abode of Eric the Composer. Wow, the music I'm hearing is sure great. Why, it must have taken years and years to compose practically. Yes, hmm. So this is um, the kind of part of the bonus of this level is that you have little uh, characters for all the people. It's like the living credits, you could say. All the characters have their own uh, avatar, the, the credits for the game. So I love the music, and it was put together by Eric Spear, who uh, I don't want to get that... Um, I didn't want to pick up that multi-crystal. Oh well. Mumble, grumble, mumble, eh? Ah, Farazzle, so finally we meet in person. Tell me, how do you like the music I compose to accompany your travels? And it doesn't really matter what we say. Um, it's phenomenal. Why, thank you. It does my heart good to hear that. Here, have 45 minutes of original music for an absurdly low price. Wow, if only this were real life. Off with you, I have a 60-part orchestral arrangement to work out in my head. Oh, but don't forget to watch the animated comedy series Mission Hill on the WB Television Network. I do music for it. It's a television network. So they, you know, like I say, it's living credits. They they got to write their own little special thing, and they, um, they can kind of add a little plug of what they're doing at the time. So just kind of a fun level. Let's tell them the music is horrible this time. Not that I think that. <laughs> Fool Philistine. And then he doesn't talk to us. And then the other one is just the same. That plaque is starting to annoy me. I'm just trying to get everything else here. Ah. Uh, okay, how are we going to get this one? There we go. Okay, so we've spoken to him. One thing about this level, the res necklaces I pick up, the um, it has a lot of these multi-crystals. I try to save as many of them as I can because I find the multi-crystals useful for the fire boss fight, and then right at the last level they're kind of useful for a tiny bit. So I, um, I will save most of them if possible from this level. These platforms you have to be careful with because that's the only thing on this level that can hurt you is those, the spikes in the bottom of those platforms. Alright, let's go up here and talk to... So this is Ben Spees. 
I created you, Ferazel. You are mine. All mine. Ha ha ha. Dance for me, Ferazel. Dance. I'll do no such thing. Now, of course, as I showed you guys previously, if you stand for too long, um, Ferazel will... Oh, I guess I can't do it right here. Ferazel, he starts to look at you and kind of prompt you to move him by looking bored. But, um... After a couple of times of doing this, he does actually dance. I suppose this is an appropriate place to show it. So probably the third time he's going to break out into a bit of a dance. Maybe it's after the third time. There we go. So he does do a little dance. It's just kind of a repeat of that same graphic, and then he stops. Okay, yeah, notice the torches are these little weird glowing bugs. A lot of things changed for this tile set. Alright. Uh, that multi-crystal I can for sure leave, so I'm going to leave that one. Plaque reads... Uh, oops, I missed it. I skipped too soon. It'll come back up. The plaque reads, Welcome to the den of Andrew the Thaumaturgist. Oh, I stubbed my toe on a stray dumbbell. I assume that's an inside joke. Maybe Andrew had a lot of exercise equipment at the office. So Andrew Welch uh, is the president of Ambrosia Software. Uh, as I'm sure most people know, so let's see what he has to say. Ho and greetings, for it is I. Who might you be, mysterious figure? I am Andrew Welch, grand and mysterious thaumaturgist, toppler of kingdoms, knower of secret skills, hoarder of vast treasures beyond your wildest imagination. Yeah, Zooks, I'm impressed. Lo, for it is only fitting. I govern unswervingly and unblinkingly. My scepter is steady, my wits are true. Glad to hear it. Any time. And that's, that's uh, all there is to say about that. Good amount of money back here. I think it's just the same thing every time. Excellent. Okay. So we have one multi-crystal there. Oops. Yeah, like I said, those are the only thing. The spikes on the bottom of those you have to watch out for. Other than that, there's nothing that hurts you. There's no enemies or anything. Plaque reads, Cluttered Habitat of Jason, the Town Crier. Better not say anything about Jason if I want lots of copies of myself to be sold. Not that there's anything bad to say about him to begin with, of course. You can tell they had a lot of fun with this level. I'll talk about the person I met when I was young. In 1980X, we found the BADS top secret material called Albatross, which was never put into practice. Imperial Forces Generalismo Kilt has seen the plan and decided to execute the plan himself. The Federation tried to stop his attempt by sending out our superheroes, our Super Joe, but lost contact with him. One brave man was sent with a special mission to rescue Super Joe. The story begins, Mr. Joe, I have come to rescue you. Now, admittedly, I don't know um, what that is a reference to. Someone probably does that uh, is familiar more with, I don't know, the gaming culture or the company at the time. But obviously it was just kind of a joke that uh, he decided to put that in for fun. Okay, so this is the other side of where Ben was. So let's go see who's up here. More multi-crystals we can leave. The whole world as you know it sprung from my mind's eye, Farazzle. How does it feel to be my puppet? So this is Andrew Hunter. He was the he did the artwork for, for Farazzle. It's not bad. So he did all the graphics for this game, which is pretty impressive there's a lot of them. Did we explore um, everywhere now? I think we did. So I think we have four multi-crystals saved here. I left two. Um, oops, I didn't mean to activate this again. Yeah, I think this is everything. I left two multi-crystals in the... Uh, Labyrinth. 
So we'll have a couple of those to come back to. And then four here. So we'll be able to use a few for the end of the fire levels and a few for the, uh, yeah, just back to where we started. And that was where Eric Spear was on, on the upper left. And a few for the final level. So I think that's very fair. It's a good way to use the bonus level. These Penta Shields, it doesn't matter if you want to pick them up or not. They they don't transition across levels. They can't stay in your inventory or carry through the map. So they, they kind of just vanish. I mean, it doesn't really mean anything. But um, yeah, so that's the bonus level Purple Haze. Should have gotten all the Zycrons picked up. Just kind of a, a way to boost your score, get a few extra coins, get some funny dialogue in. And the most useful thing, in my opinion, a very easy level to go back to and pick up multi-crystals if you're wanting to for, for a boss fight.